Let's do the same experiment in FStorm. To the left, we have the reference photo and to the right, we have FStorm render. Now in FStorm, you don't have the physical settings in the camera. So you don't have like physical exposure and I mean, F number you do, but exposure times and ISO and so on. When I dragged the HDRI into FStorm, it did not look at all like the reference image. So it's not one to one with Corona, that's for sure. Uh, what I have done is to turn down the exposure to 0 0.46 in this case. I had to increase the contrast a little bit, increase the burn value. I had to increase the color per serve from default 2 to 50 to match um, the colors. And I have to set a manual white balance, which is quite colored. So the white balance, def the default white balance in F-Storm is very different from Corona. If I zoom in here and I zoom in here. You can see that the color chart are actually quite all right. I think this is actually better than Corona, might be better than Corona, at least it's not worse. And then we go to the balls, which is also looking very comparable. Hmm, uh, and also one thing I have to say, I ha also had to change the materials, the materials for my balls. I had to change to roughness one here to match them somewhat, because I think the default is 0 0.85 and that did not look right. So comparing them looks good. Also comparing the glass orb, even uh, no matter how I change the IOR, I will not get the refraction the same between these two. So the house here is much bigger than it is in reality. I haven't found a way to do that. If I recall correctly, my Corona tests also had the same issue. So these are looking very comparable. Uh, the sky is looking a little bit different here, but otherwise they look, they look very good. Let's switch to another image. Let's, let's take this one. We can see again, I haven't changed anything between these two, but it looks really good, I would say. The colors are still quite good. What the balls look like is pretty much as expected. And noticing also that F-Storm is so, so, so much faster to render than Corona. Again, the, we have the same issue here with, as in Corona, with the color of the wall here becoming more orange in the render, but that's in the HDRI. So otherwise I think they're matching more or less perfectly. You can see the, the glare here from the sun or the refraction from the sun is way weaker in F-Storm and I would assume that is the kernel exposure. If I make it 1 or 0 0.1 or 0 0.01, it's just not coming along. So that's, uh, I, I didn't notice that though in Corona, so I can't really compare with that. And then moving here, we have the same thing in the chrome ball. Maybe this is actually just because the chrome material, yeah, this actually matches a bit better. So. So we can assume that a chromed ball has an IOR of around four. This looks more realistic. And if we go to another here, and I'm just gonna adjust this as well. So I'm gonna rotate this to somewhat match. And again, if we zoom, the colors are matching very well, I must say. I think this is actually matching better than Corona. One I really had a problem with the Corona was this one. This one was really off in Corona. And in F-Storm, it's actually quite spot on. So I would say F-Storm in this case does a better job. And here we have the balls. You're gonna have the same issue here as in Corona with this. I mean, you get a darker rim as well here, like a Fresnel, but overall my NCS 8500 color is way brighter here than it is in the actual photo reference. Otherwise, I think they are matching pretty well. I'm noticing though in the glass orb here, when, when comparing the glass orb, they are actually looking quite differently. So there is this entire thing here that doesn't match at all. So there's something, and I, if I recall correctly, I couldn't see much difference between these two, uh, between Corona and the photo. Uh, I'm not going to say too much because I don't, I'm, I don't have the images up right now, but I think here we have a huge difference between these two, so I'm not not really know why. And then go into these chrome balls again. I mean, now we actually shouldn't have focus here, but uh, I think they are comparable. This area here in Corona is white. So the burned out area is white, while the burned out area here is blue. Maybe that is because of the color preserve that I increased. So if I move this back to like two, all right, okay, that actually does it. New lesson learned, do not change that. I think I, ha I had to do that to compensate for something, but I realized that was wrong. So, okay, now we're getting a more similar result. Looking good. So the only thing I'm not happy about here is actually the, the orb, which looks a lot different. 
but in the other angles it looked very well very good so make of it what you will if you would say that corona is more accurate than f-storm color wise and tone mapping wise then i would say that is completely wrong and the reason why i'm trying to make a calibrated hri like this is because i want to be able to take photographs of real physical materials and then have that as a base to recreate them in 3D in the same scene, in a calibrated scene. Otherwise, sometimes we have some circumstances in a scene and we, we make our materials to fit that scene. And then you switch to another scene, the materials look way wrong. And that is because you are adjusting or calibrating your materials to an uncalibrated scene. So that's what I'm trying to change.